Hey guys, how are we all? Welcome to My Way Tarot. So this will be a new love reading for the collective. This will not be sign specific, but I will let you know the signs as we go throughout the reading. Um, so this can resonate with your sun, moon, rising or Venus placements for yourself or for your love interest, the one that's on your mind. So please use your own sense of discernment with the messages that come through and please do not force of anything to fit. OK, guys. So we're going to use the Muse Tarot today. This is a brand new deck of cards. I absolutely love this deck. Um, it's really beautiful and I'm very excited to use this. This will also be a timeless reading as well. So whenever you come across this reading, it's where it's most likely to resonate for you. It doesn't necessarily have to be immediately when I post it. So if you do happen to see this at a much later date and you feel inclined to watch the reading, there could be messages in here for you. OK, guys. Also, um, we're just coming into or we are already in um, Gemini season. So happy birthday, Gemini. Hope you are enjoying um, your birthday season and celebrating and everything else. So obviously see this at a later date. Happy belated birthday to you. OK, guys. <laughs> um, so let's get into this, shall we? Angels of love and light. Can we please get clear and concise messages for new love for the collective? What do they need to know about new love, please? And thank you. Just cutting up the deck for you now. We'll get into the reading. What can we get here? This one looked a little bit active, so I'm going to take that. OK. OK, interesting. So we have the four of voices wanted to show up with the seven of voices. So I feel like there is someone who's kind of keeping an eye on you here. OK, they've been looking at you for quite a long time. Um, this person's wondering what you're doing, wondering what you're up to. This person is imagining certain things, okay? Um, seeing this person in the bath, okay? So they may have more racy kind of thoughts about you. Um, or like if you're in water, they love you when you're in water or love the idea of you in water or near water. Um, you and this person may end up having a get together here by water, okay? So that could be quite interesting. I'm getting like a date idea. So this person may want to go for a nice long walk with you. Um, this person is trying to be very discreet with how they approach you, because I feel like there could be um, some instances where this person feels the need to be a to be careful. OK, if they're able to be able to carry, you know, this connection through, I'm getting pull it off for some reason. Yeah. With the night of inspiration, I was getting that this person getting more kind of racy thoughts about you this is the knight of wands energy so this person is definitely thinking about you a lot on the down low here um yeah i'm getting very much like secret admirer maybe have a crush on you um this person is seeing you glow up in some way i'm getting with that kind of four of voices you may be feeling a lot better about certain things that's going on in your life it may have taken some time to get there but i feel ultimately you know, you may be just trying to go with the ebb and flow of life a little bit more, you know, not get so stressed out when certain things happen and getting the sense of responding rather than reacting. And I feel like there are lots of people who may be coming from a more jealous and envious place, especially if they've seen you where you've gone through a lot in your life. And these people are like, well, how did you get such and such? Or they did this so that they could get to where they are or they've given favors i'm getting um of certain variety here to get to the point of you know where you're at in your career or what have you and obviously none of that is all true none of that is all true none of it is true um it's all lies and but there have been people trying to spread some sort of gossip about you but i feel like whoever you're dealing with kind of sees through these other people okay and they know that they're just coming from a much more like a lower vibrational place okay from a place of envy from a place of lack from a place of scarcity etc etc and I feel ultimately your person is seeing you as someone who's incredibly I'm getting told pure OK, yeah, look, seven of voices wanting to show out again. So lots of people are kind of seeing you emanate this light here just from within naturally. And other people are trying to imitate and copy that. I'm getting copycat energy for some reason. So some of you could be putting yourself out there a little bit more, feeling more, you know, um, just able to kind of express yourself. And these people who kind of like 
it's getting off this impression that they hate you but love you at the same time i'm getting so they're like wanting to be you okay and i feel like your person is seeing you as someone is just like unapologetically yourself and this just really attracts this person on a massive level as i say that with the emperor coming through aries energy but also some of you could be dealing with a very high level soulmate here a past life connection or maybe even a divine counterpart a twin flame with this emperor coming through this person may see themselves marrying you here okay they see you and them having a very serious commitment this person is hoping that you feel the same way about them I'm just getting this overall impression of like, look guys, get ready to fall in love, okay? So some of you could have a strong interest in someone and you've been wondering whether they have mutual feelings for you. I'm getting the, getting told the feelings are mutual, okay? With the four of inspiration, oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> um, this is the four of wands, okay? So some of you will know what that means. Obviously I was saying about twin flame energy for some of you. Um, so yeah, there's 1111 coming through 44 or 444 could be very significant. You could be seeing those numbers a lot more at this time. This person just saw 717 on my timer. Um, this person imagines stability with you. Okay. A very happy home life. This person is very much wanting to get, <laughs> I'm hearing him say, him wow okay so definitely strong masculine like alpha male um energy coming through like they want to put a ring on that finger okay <laughs> obviously just take it as it resonates you can switch it around okay so i could obviously be reading for yourself or for your love interest but look at this with the six of materials the six of pentacles this person isn't playing when it comes to you okay they are wanting a strong, solid partnership with you, okay? With the Awakening card, Sagittarius energy, this person has realized that you and them cross paths for a reason. And they hope that you just pick up on the kind of same vibe as them. But this person may be a little bit unsure of approaching you, but they're going to approach you anyway. I'm hearing I can't stand it any longer, okay? So if you and this person have been in a separation or if you kind of have like the odd, you know, flirty glance at each other now and again, like if you potentially work with this person or if this person's your boss, guys, I'm hearing for some of you, um, or this person's just in a more like of a managerial role or a leader of sorts, or they're kind of like a boss in some way, then this person is definitely kind of very fiercely protective over you, okay, as well. Um, I'm, <laughs> I don't know where I'm here, why I'm hearing that. I'm hearing like sugar daddy, sugar baby vibes for some reason. Now, obviously, some of you could be, you know, interested in all of that, but what I'm getting is predominantly this person wants to um, look after you. They want to make sure that you are not wanting for anything okay so this is gorgeous energy by the way yeah awakening coming through again um i do believe as i'm filming this um we do have i believe a full moon maybe in sagittarius coming in the next few weeks um so maybe the next few weeks could be highly significant but don't count me on it guys look at that with the emperor <laughs> actually that could be a strong message that this person's coming back around in the next kind of four weeks um three four weeks this is incredibly exciting um if you have been apart from each other and you get this opportunity to have this new love then this is something that is very significant you could be closing old cycles in your life um if this is someone that's kind of you know maybe brand new then they're going to let your um Wow, I'm, can, I'm getting let their intentions be known to you and I'm hearing let yourself go. So this person is hoping that you just relax and let go and kind of surrender to them, okay? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm getting in more ways than one. This person definitely has um, very flirty energy, okay, guys, okay? This person wants you to kind of be in the flow of things when they're together with you, like really in the present moment. 
or they love it when you're in the flow of doing something that you love okay so if this person sees you you know maybe you put yourself out there online or on social media or you have this passion for something um and then you've kind of shown your work about it okay i don't know why i'm getting pottery for some reason i'm getting pottery um i'm getting like art very much art maybe even dance okay and, and now i'm hearing i like the way you move <laughs> I'm getting the told like the sense of freedom of expression this person just really loves that from you okay or you maybe you love this from this person i'm getting strong kind of femininity like feminine energy now we have masculine and feminine within all of us okay guys so it's not necessarily one or the other type thing okay but yeah the tower this is going to be very shocking that this person kind of lets you know how they're feeling they're kind of unearthing all of these deeper feelings and emotions for you. As I say that with the moon, Pisces energy and Aries and Scorpio coming through. Okay. And I did just now say about, you know, full moon energy and look at this full moon. There could be something happening relatively soon and it's going to shock you because like some of you have been kind of intuitively feeling um that there's more going on with this person and more going on with this connection and you may have been dreaming of this person or this person's gonna say to you like they're gonna bring um bring you up in a conversation like or like as in okay well i'm getting they bring you up in conversation to others okay and that may shock you like i'm getting friends or family so they're already talking to you well I'm talking about you or i'm getting already talking to you so maybe there's a few things that have been hidden here whereby this person could actually already be talking to you and you don't know that they're talking to you i'm getting like hidden fake profile potentially um that's only a specific message for some of you but also what i was getting is that this person is He's going to let you know that they had a dream about you, okay? And that may break the ice. Like, oh, I dreamt about you the other day. All oh, right, okay, well, what happened? And then you kind of get into this conversation, right? And then you're like, oh, I wonder what all that was about type of thing. I'm hearing that for some reason. But let's get some cards on the table. Gosh, guys, <laughs> um, let's get some cards, shall we? Gosh, you just talk for hours. I'm getting hours and hours. And now I'm hearing that song. Um, I could do this for hours, for hours, for hours. I could do this for hours, for hours. I don't know what that is, but this strong kind of sensual, sexual energy coming through. So this person wants to kind of <laughs> get it on, okay? Um, definitely for hours and hours. <laughs> or they would love to talk to you for hours as well. I'm not getting all they want to do that as well as okay i'm hearing pillow talk so yeah hmm. i'm hearing <laughs> satisfy your needs wow okay okay yeah look at this nine of voices interesting this person's overthinking about you but look how you see obviously i'm not meant to be showing certain things but this person here you know and what state they're in okay um this person definitely thinks about you a lot in that way. You lying there beside them, I'm hearing, okay. Strength card coming through, Leo energy. I do believe we have um, Mars in Leo. Okay, so maybe Mars and Leo um, could be quite significant. I do believe that's um, that energy is around for a few weeks or maybe a month or so. I'm not totally sure, guys, but there could be something that's happening very significantly in this connection because of the Mars and Leo. Okay, maybe you may have Mars in a fire placement or maybe your person does, I'm hearing. Six of materials, interesting. And um, one more up here, and then we'll go to the next line. 
what else is these thank you the three of materials so the three of pentacles the six of pentacles earth energy coming through with the page of emotions which is the page of cups okay so there is someone who has been thinking about you a lot they've been highly um, stressed here and the reason they've been highly stressed is because all they want to do is build on a connection with you but they're trying to find the courage and the confidence to be able to be you know emotional with you okay and actually show you how they feel this could be something that's actually quite testing for this person they're not used to doing of this okay um i'm just getting the sense like you coax this kind of energy out of them and it's like they're not sure how they feel about it all because i feel ultimately this is not something that this person has experienced previously whereby you know they're wanting to kind of be more um more forward okay with their emotions more vulnerable with their emotions um i'm also hearing as well that for some of you if you are potentially reconciling with someone and it's going to be a brand new love then this person wants to apologize um for maybe holding back okay or for maybe not being equal with you in the past or not building with you before or i'm hearing team player okay so they didn't collaborate with you in a particular way or they just weren't i'm getting hearing um honest with you okay this person is is stressed or they have been very stressed and anxious yeah because they know that they may have been deceptive at some point okay you know but i'm hearing that this deception was most likely for your protection i'm hearing rejection is god's protection so some of you may resonate with that message what else is going on here for new love ten of voices so we have the nine and the ten of swords wow so you both have gone through a lot in your life here okay with that page of emotion showing through again you both have gone a lot gone through a lot you both have been stabbed in the back you both have been hurt okay i'm hearing closer to home with the ten of materials so the ten of pentacles so maybe there's been a family dynamic that you've been very hurt from or maybe this person has or you both have in some way um there may have been a breaking up of a family previously um so this person may have gone through a breakup a separation or a divorce okay or maybe you have I'm getting told trust issues so someone may have had difficulty with embracing new love or going towards new love or being open to new love because of potentially trust issues um but i feel like someone is definitely working on healing themselves or they have healed um a significant amount here so therefore they've only grown in resilience through whatever they've been through okay the seven of cups the seven of emotions yeah i'm also getting that um this person has been confused about why they feel so strongly for you but they feel this spiritual connection with you okay as much as you probably feel this connection with this person but ultimately i feel that this person is trying to understand you know logically and I'm getting theoretically for some reason um, as to why things kind of occurred in the first place. So I'm, I'm hearing some sort of karma, okay, may have been significant for someone that they were going through or they had to end a karmic cycle of sorts. Six of emotions, yeah, the six of cups. So yeah, I'm definitely picking up on karma here with the two sixes. So 66 or 666 could be something that's significant, as I say that with the awakening. So definitely karmic cycle here, something closer to home, maybe friends or family. Yeah. I'm also getting that this person is seeing you as someone's quite popular. So they're seeing you as someone who is very authentic, very genuine, very loving, very nurturing um that you do have people after you okay um they know that they have to kind of pick up speed if they are to have anything with you because you know you're going to be swooped up by someone else potentially um 
but I feel like you definitely have your pick if you're wanting to, you know, put yourself out there and date. Look at this with the Ten of Emotions, the Ten of Cups. So this person feels a strong soulmate connection with you and they feel guided to come forward. They feel guided to show you how they feel. They think about you a lot. If you have had some sort of previous history with this person, then the nostalgia, I'm kidding, is real. Like it's really showing up in this person's kind of reality there's always certain things that come up that reminds this person of you okay with the eight of voices wanting to show through this person has been very very stressed okay and they themselves know on some level they've been holding themselves back but look with the high priestess like i said they feel the spiritual connection with you okay and you couldn't get much more of a spiritual card than the high priestess and I said to you, they're trying to think things through logically, but they've been getting, you know, certain downloads or messages, etc. maybe in their dreams. But I feel ultimately they're just trying to understand why everything is not as it seems like when it comes to other connections and when it comes to a connection with you, I'm getting that for some reason. So cancer's energy could be significant here with the high priestess. As I say that with the two of emotions, which is the two of cups, why do they feel this difference with you okay and then we had the four voices showing again which was the first card that we saw when we went into this reading so yeah this person sees you in this energy okay sees you as kind of holding yourself back from them you're kind of working on yourself focusing on healing at this time and all this person wants to do is show you how much you mean to them okay this person is very much wanting something much more significant. I keep on saying much, 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 like very much that they want this with you, okay? This person, for some of you, may even have fallen in love with you or loves you, okay? They care for you deeply and maybe it's kind of been eating up at them because it's like, well... I've been able to kind of handle myself in a particular way when it's come to other connections and things usually flow a particular way. But with you, it's like you kind of threw the monkey wrench in this person's life, like the spanner in the works. And now they're kind of like, oh gosh, wow, am I actually in love? Do I truly love this person? Then what was all those other connections? Like they're questioning everything okay about what they've ever previously gone through even if they've been married before or if they have children with someone you know and they're co-parenting or if they've been legally tied with someone with you know finances or you know they have a mortgage with someone or they've had to do you know i'm kidding like grown stuff okay <laughs> i'm kidding like grown person stuff like they've been through some sort of significant life experiences that some of you may have not gone through yet, but this person has. And they may have thought to themselves, well, with everything that I've gone through, I thought that this was gonna kind of nicely link up and I was gonna have my happy ever after and what have you. And then not everything was what it seems. And then you kind of shown up in their life and now they question absolutely everything. This person's definitely an overthinker, okay? Or maybe you're an overthinker, or you both are. I mean, potentially there could be some of you with a lot of mirroring energy going through this. You know, we have the eight, we have the seven, the eight, the nine, and the 10 of swords. So it's not been easy with whatever you both have been through in your life, but there is definitely an ending that's coming into play here. And we're picking up on this energy here with the moon, okay, with this kind of crescent moon with the, the high priestess. So moon cycles are so significant right now for you. Very much so. Cancer season. I keep getting that strong message. Cancer and Leo season could be where there's potentially a leveling up of a commitment in some way. And you may be stressed out about it because for some of you, you could have been single for a long time, you know, but I'm getting the energy of, well, it's time now to kind of prepare your life 
to allow someone else to kind of fit into it as it were okay so make that space for this new energy this new person to come in and i feel like you're taking more proactive steps with doing of this okay and this is actually sending signals to the universe as it were it's kind of picking up on going okay so this person is actually showing that they are feeling much more ready for a longer type of commitment rather than being single and independent and kind of like doing everything on their own so i feel that you know there's only so much healing and so much that we can go through on our own as individuals okay but it's not until we get into a relationship or a partnership with someone where we truly start to properly flourish because you know we're meant to be teaming up with people we're meant to be in romantic connections with people healthy relationships with people okay and then that's where you have the kind of the obviously more evidential kind of growth here okay um in some way or another but this person is definitely wanting a lot more with you and they're keeping it very much hush hush into themselves but i feel like you already know that this person wants more with you okay so i'm just getting the sense of you know time it's inevitable type of thing like it's inevitable that this person's going to show up it's just energetically it's here already but there could be a few loose ends that this person's tying up or maybe you're tying up i'm hearing that this person wants to help you okay this person wants to help you tying up the loose ends so that you can have the sense of stability um, in your own future but also they want to kind of um, build a future with you and so therefore you know it's important that you feel good with what you're you've got going on in your life and they want to be a part of helping you get to a certain place okay so that they can make this investment with you to have a really prosperous i'm getting told abundant future so if there has been issues with your health recently i feel like that's improving finances are going to be improving you could be receiving some sort of windfall or some sort of assistance to do with financial support somewhere so if you've applied for a loan or you know you've applied for um, a new job okay and you're going for an interview or you may be asking for a promotion you could be receiving of these things and this is really going to make you very happy and it's going to allow you to feel a lot more positive and optimistic about the future and kind of not be in such a stressful state because i feel like a lot of you have been incredibly stressed like you kind of know that things are working out in your favor but then at the same time because things may have not necessarily shifted yet with the energies in the physical form it comes across as like panic stations i'm hearing okay and feeling like all the work that you've done has been wasted or it's not been kind of um, i'm hearing seen for some reason or heard but you're i'm getting told your prayers have been answered and your prayers have been seen you, they've seen you okay so as in god the universe whoever you resonate with your angels your spirit guides they've seen you they've heard you and because you've been asking for assistance from a pure place of intention then they are obviously going to be helping you and assisting you and there's a lot more going on um <laughs> in the kind of ethers as it were than you know of at this time so i'm getting a strong sense of your you're being protected um from a lot right now even if there are still you know remnants of more negative energies are around you um that you could be very sensitive to energies and you're picking up more of this for some of you okay and so therefore um you know there's only so much work that can be done on the other side you have to do some extra work yourself with protecting yourself and shielding yourself but i feel like you're coming to terms with that and understanding that it's important to um set boundaries with certain people places and things but also i feel like this person if they see you do of this like <laughs> they find this very attractive okay very attractive i'm hearing 333 you could be seeing of those numbers 
um, but sevens, eights, nines, tens, um, eight, eight, eight could be very significant here as well. Um, but we have Leo and Cancer coming through very strongly, but all signs are pretty much here. But that's going to be the end of the reading. But I hope you have enjoyed this reading as much as I've enjoyed reading for you today. If you have enjoyed this reading and you did fancy supporting myself and the channel, there are donation links now available. So thank you so much to those of you who've already donated. I greatly appreciate you guys. Even if you do not financially donate, a great way to energetically donate is to like, share, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll get back to you guys on those comments. So thank you. Also, guys, if you haven't already, I would greatly appreciate it if you can hit the notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any future updates that get made available on the channel. And also, last but not least, I just want to say a massive thank you to those of you who've already purchased memberships. It does mean a great deal to me. So thank you, thank you, and thank you. Um, if you are interested in the memberships, then there is a link in the description box below uh, as part of this video. So I hope you have a wonderful week. Sending love and light your way. Many blessings. Please take care. Bye, guys.